Well, I just woke up. I got dressed and took the dog for a stroll. And oh my heavens, there's a bird in my yard. It's cute, dude. There's two of them. Um, sorry, sorry. Distraction. Just noticed the birds. Anyway, today I'm going to review Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. Now, I admit, it took me three weeks to read this book. Not because it was bad, because I was busy, I was tired, and I was in a reading slump. Had I not been those three things, I would have zipped right through it because this is a beautiful book. So beautiful. I actually really recommend it to you. I do have some things to say about it though, and as usual, my reviews are going to be spoiler free. But before you read the book, there's some things you should know because some parts surprised me. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to read the summary to you because if you haven't read the book and you don't know what it's about, it could be useful to know what it's about. Orphaned and penniless, at the height of the Depression, Jacob Jankowski escapes everything he knows by jumping on a passing train and inadvertently runs away with the circus. Thrown into the chaos of a second-rate traveling show, Jacob is adrift in a world of freaks, swindlers, and misfits. Jacob uses his veterinary skills in the circus menagerie and becomes a savior for the animals he so loves, including a baffling elephant named Rosie. He also comes to know Marlena, the enchanting star of the Equestrian Act and wife of August, a charismatic but cruel animal trainer. Caught between his love for Marlena and his need for belonging, Jacob is freed only by a murderous secret that will bring the big top down. Water for Elephants is a dark and beautiful portrait of a crumbling circus. With warmth and whimsy, Gruen depicts an unforgettable world where love is a luxury few can afford. So already the summary makes it sound awesome, and I admit, that was what drew me to it. I had heard of the movie, but I didn't know much about the book. And so I read the back, and it seemed completely amazing. And it was, so I'm really glad that I picked it up from the library. I actually wish it was mine and not the library's. I wish I could keep it, but I can't. That makes me sad. So yeah, it's about this guy named Jacob, and he has some issues, so he just walks somewhere and he finds a train and jumps on it and joins the circus. We've established that. However, one thing they did not mention at the back of this book was that the story of Jacob at the circus is sort of a memory. It keeps getting told from two perspectives, a 90 or 93 year old Jacob Jankowski in a nursing home and his younger self in his 20s. I can't remember, was he 23 at the time? I can't remember. I just read this book. I should remember this. Uh, but then again, it took me three weeks to read it. So a few details may be forgotten, which already means I need to reread it. In other words, I need to own it. I need to find this book and buy it. Yes. Yes, I need to read it. I would categorize this book as adult fiction, possibly contemporary, and historical fiction, definitely. When I first started reading this book, I did not expect it to be as adult as it is because I haven't read that many adult books with sexual themes in it. And so when they appeared, I was thinking, what the heck am I reading? Because I, I just... I hadn't expected it. However, while that disturbed me the first time it happened, it stopped disturbing me after that because I knew that it could happen and I was prepared and it just made the story more real because our sexuality is a part of us and it's a part of Jacob Jankowski too and every other character that had sexual tendencies. However, if you are 13 years old and watching this video, don't read this book. Wait till you're 16 because um, you're too young to read certain parts in this book. This book also deals with the difficulties of being in a circus back in the day, and there are issues. It's not as if the animals are necessarily being cared for properly, which kind of hurt me because I love animals, and it hurts me to see them not being treated the way they should. However, it did make the story good, so, I mean, it's a story. I know it happens in real life, too, but this is a story. This is first and foremost a story, so I don't really mind it. It just makes me sad because I get so invested in a story and it feels real and it just pains me to envision these animals not having the best treatment they could be. 
Of course, adding Jacob Jankowski to the circus helped because he actually did care for the animals and helped make their lives better. Overall, I think this was a beautiful book. It tells a great story. It has everything. It has drama. It has romance. And it, it's, it's beautiful. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. This is definitely one I want to add to my collection. I recommend it, unless you're 13. And basically, go read it. It's beautiful. Uh, so pretty. So, so pretty. Honestly, though, this book is awesome.